Many of you might remember our last Got a Tool. We invited George Matthew, chairman and CEO of Cuspri, to talk all about the market for drones. Well, on this show, we're going to actually continue that conversation as we look at the importance of big data and all about why alliances are so important. So let's look at what George Matthew had to say. Many of you remember on our last Got a Tool, we were talking with George Matthew, chairman and CEO of Cuspri. George is here and we're continuing that conversation and we're all talking about the importance this time of big data and the alliances that are being formed when you talk about drones. George, thank you for continuing our conversation. Oh, great to be back, Patty. Thank you. George, it's really exciting because when we think about drones, drones are really changing the construction job site. And there's a lot of things when you collect all this big data now from the job site. And now a lot of big alliances are being formed to make a lot of that information collected and being able to do so much more. Let's talk about what that means because at Kespri, you guys are doing a lot of really important things and you see the importance of alliances being that next big step with what drones are going to be doing. Sure. When we think about our ability to be successful in terms of the construction industry, construction itself is in a massive industry in the United States and across the world. But one of the real challenges in these large industries is how do you form the proper level of distribution capability in market. So we're really proud of the opportunity to serve John Deere in this regard. They have an enormous distribution capability worldwide. There is an absolute need to be able to introduce a drone that can autonomously work on behalf of the data that's effectively being collected on a consistent basis effectively on that work site. And now you're seeing the match between this great leading brand in the construction industry being able to complement the capabilities that they already have from an equipment service data analytics standpoint with the Caspery drone and the solution that we're delivering into market. So we can't be more proud of the opportunity to serve the market accordingly and of course serving it with John Deere being our go-to-market partner. Will there be others? I mean, it's probably you just formed this one, but you know, it's probably you know you you have to be looking at others. But right now, you're just probably trying to figure out all the things you'll be doing with yeah, John Deere. Yeah, I think the focus for us from an equipment standpoint is going to be surrounding you know John Deere and the capabilities and the network that they're introducing, particularly from a distribution standpoint for the foreseeable future. We do see other opportunities, particularly when it comes to a lot of the software integration, right? So when you think about project management software, when you think about the capabilities of how you're understanding the BIM itself and how you're tracking the forward nature of how work is progressing on a construction effort, that's where you see real opportunity to get the data that's generated from the drone directly onto those information systems. And so, yes, we do see some downstream opportunities particularly for partnering with the software providers that are delivering either project management or planning capabilities, particularly in the construction industry. Do you think right now when we talk about this entire construction industry that it's moving at the rate you would like to see it? Because when we talk about big data, I think the construction industry still has a lot to learn about how to capture data, integrate the data, use the data in a way that's useful information and not just being overwhelmed by what data means for them in, in a way that they can actually maximize it to make it profitable information? Yeah, I think that in any industry there are these moments where you're trying to figure out where you can value use tools data effectively for making these changes continue to progress forward. Now in the construction industry there has been just the way things have been continuously done for quite a while where the introduction of a new tool a new, new service capabilities from a data analytics standpoint really need to plug into the rest of the fabric of how things work and so I think we're now at that juncture right I think we have now this sort of moment in time where the analytics that are being provided, particularly off of data that's coming off the drone, the data that's being generated from the equipment itself, the project management solutions, these are all being thought of as one integrated workflow, one integrated experience for how work is accomplished. And so we are at that juncture right now. We are at that turning point where I believe that this is actually going to accelerate further in the industry than ever before. 
So we can't be more excited for the moment that we've now entered, particularly with the Caspery drone, helping our customers and the distributors surrounding John Deere serve this market accordingly. And that's what's so exciting when you look at a platform, when you look at software, hardware, applications. Is that really the, the secret sauce, so to speak, for what you're bringing to market and, and being able to do alliances with a John Deere that you, you, you really are bringing a, a whole package that makes what you do unique and then have an alliance like that that says, look, we're able to bring something to the construction space that makes it somewhat unique and special all at the same time. Yeah, so we think that a complete working solution is important in particularly the construction industry. So the industry is focused on building, right? The That's industry right. is not focused on trying to manually pilot a, a drone. The industry is not focused on finagling with software to ensure that it works properly when it's expected and supposed to. And so we have to plug into the natural workflow of how things are accomplished on a work site or on a building project or within the information systems that surround all of that work. And if it's discombobulated, it's disconnected, it's a broken experience, then no one's going to accept that in the industry. And so this is where the Casper drone has been very unique and differentiated in the market because we are able to effectively plug in to the rest of the way that work gets accomplished. And I think that's where we're seeing the growth in our own business in that respective space. So where do you see Casper going next? I mean, what's the big next thing. Tell us here, you know, we want to know on Got It Tool. We've got to know the secrets. Yeah, so I, I think the biggest area that we're continuing to evolve is how artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities are continuously being introduced into the work site. So when we look at planning applications, when we look at you know, when there's a project underway and you want to identify the amount of assets that you have simultaneously that are effectively on that work site, you can actually use the drone to do not only the visual inspection, but really real-time classification of, say, for instance, what equipment that you have underway. You can use the drone to be able to do all kinds of planning assumptions being understood in comparison to what's actually happening on the work site itself. So, no surprise, it's a further integration of the data that's generated from the drone being more fully integrated to the experience of how that work site and the work there is being accomplished. And that's where Casper is going to continuously be focused for the foreseeable future. Who would have thought that a drone might be just as important as a hammer on a job site, right? Well, I think this comes down to the question of tools, right? Because every generation we see tools continuing to evolve in a market. So if you look at the survey grading space in the construction arena for earthworks, historically in the 50s it was theodolite that was used for surveying, right? And then you start to see the emergence of GPS backpacks in the 80s and 90s. And then of course more recently you have survey grade equipment that's using laser finders to be able to accomplish the understanding of where distance and you know measurement would occur on a more accurate basis. And this is just the next natural extension. The drone is now the hyper accurate view of that survey and measurement capability that just happens to be delivered aerially versus being able to do it on the ground with the equipment that's previously served that market. So this is just a natural evolution how the market continues to evolve. I love it, George. We wish you guys continued success. Thank you for being with us. And that's what it all is about with Got a Tool for today. Thank, Thank you. you. Betty.